A warm welcome to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about Navaratri, the nine-day festival which is celebrated all over India in its various forms and in many parts of the world where we welcome the Mother Goddess on this planet. The Mother Goddess with her brings many gifts that she wants to bless her children with. But are we capable of accepting those gifts, of taking her blessings and bringing in a lot of material as well as spiritual enhancement in our lives that will help us to lead a better and a more fulfilling life? There are a few things that if we do during these Navratris that will help us to bring a lot of prosperity in our lives and enhance our lives to a great deal. Also, there are some don'ts that we must follow. To begin with the uh, do's, the first thing that we should do is to light a diya. For those who can light a lamp in her respect every day called the Akhanda Jo, that means that the light of the lamp does not go out even for a minute. During these nine days, is a beautiful endeavor. But if you are unable to do that for nine days continuously, at least in the evenings, lighting a lamp is essential and praying to her at that time does us a lot of good. We move on to doing the part. Again, there is the Durga Kavach, which is present in the Durga Shaptashati, which provides one with a lot of protection as the name itself, Kavach, suggests. And it also gives one a lot of fortitude to be able to withstand any form of negativity coming our way. It has to be done 27 times during the entire nine-day period. And that means three in on each day, sitting at the same place at the same time, preferably with a lamp lit. If you are unable to do the 27 covers, there's still the seven shlokas known as the Durga Shapta Shloki that can be done on a regular basis, especially during these nine days because they are taken from the Shapta Shati itself and they are a warehouse of a lot of power and a lot of protection. The 32 names of Durga, which are said to be giving us a formidable protection, supposed to be one of the siddha parts that one can do during their lifetime and especially during the Navratras is also an essential during this period because it enhances the protective armor around us which helps us to repel any negativity that finds its way into our lives. Then we go ahead with fasting. Those who can fast for nine days, there's nothing like fasting for nine days because it not just gives you a spiritual direction in life, but it also works greatly in favor of your physical health. But for those who cannot do it for reasons like work uh, restrictions and so on and so forth, should at least try to do the uh, fast on the first day and the last day of Navratra. Again, another thing that we can do is to enhance the spirit of uh, love and affection because these nine days are supposed to be very pious, very much filled with energy. And so keeping a good relation with others, being happy from the core sets in a period of happiness and also jubilant in our lives. So this is a good period when one should take this. Again, the goddess is very fond of good or jaggery. So sweets, made out of jaggery are a preferable prashad for the goddess during these nine days. Red fruit on the last day, be it the apple, be it the pomegranate, should be served to her as a prashad. Last but not the least, the flower offerings. Aparajita, hibiscus and lotus are the flowers that the goddess loves the best. And offerings made with love and reverence are well accepted and returned as blessings. Since we have done the do's, the few don'ts that we must take care of also helps us keeping a lot of negativity out. For those who like the Askhand Deepak, these do don'ts are a must. So one should uh, abstain from uh, all 
bad habits, especially alcohol, eating non-vegetarian or any other bad habits. For those lighting the akhandradiya, they should also abstain from any congenital relationships. Again, they should not be clipping of hair or the nails during these nine days. When we take care of all these things in the reverence for mother, she is sure to be a guiding light in our path and repel all darkness that comes our way. Do follow these instructions. Do follow these rules and see how life blooms ahead for you and how you get to move ahead of all those obstacles that seem like a mountain in your path. Till we meet with you again, stay tuned. Thank you.